Good morning, Minnie. Say hello. Yee! Sephora sale. Let's shop. Good morning, friends. Happy Sephora sale. This video is going live the day that the sale starts. And of course, I'm filming this video a day or two in advance just to kind of build my cart and prepare for this sale. So I thought what we could do is a little bit of like a shop with me so that you guys can see how I'm building up my cart, the products that I'm thinking of getting, because obviously everything that was already in my recommendations video, I've already bought, <laughs> already reviewed for you guys. But what are the things that I'm thinking of picking up in the sale? And maybe you guys can influence me and give me some recommendations and pointers. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Let's wake up together. I've got my coffee ready. Let's get shopping. All right, party people. So I'm loading up the Sephora app right here. This is how I prefer to shop because it's just too crazy in the store. I know a lot of YouTubers, they go into the store and they do like little vlogs and stuff. I shop here right from the comfort of my own home with my coffee in my sweatpants. So that's what we are doing today. By the way, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Sophia. I'm a complete beauty addict and I focus a lot on luxury beauty here on my channel. I upload new videos every single week. So if you love new makeup reviews, favorites videos, Sephora sale recommendations, then you're in the right place, my friend. Hit that subscribe button to join our fam. And guys, any of the products that I shop in this video, I will link in the description box in case you wanna check them out for this sale as well. I do use affiliate links, so thank you to those of you who shop through my links and support my channel. Anyway, enough of the YouTube things, let's get into shopping. Now, the first thing that I see here that they had on the homepage is the new Danessa Myricks Beauty Lightwork Volume 5. This is the IM palette for eyes and face, you guys. No, I am so tempted by this palette. I got the palette she did last year and I thought it was so good. Not all of the formulas were amazing, but I really did like the palette and the formula of the multi-chromes that she does is so, so good. So I am thinking of getting this one. I'm just a little bit torn guys, cause it's $125. Does anybody know if this is good? Did you buy it? Comment down below. Let me know if you're enjoying it. I am gonna add it to my cart, but that is, probably like one of the bigger, like big ticket items that I've been considering. Now, let me show you fragrance wise, what I'm thinking of getting. Because I always have to buy all these products before the sales, because I have to review them for my channel. I don't often have a lot of like new things that I get to pick up, but fragrance is one of those things that I love to treat myself to in every single sale. Do I need more fragrance? No, I do not. No, I do not, but it's kind of my guilty pleasure, guys, and I do get good use out of my fragrances. Now, I want to show you guys some new things from Tom Ford. Here it is, Myrrh Mystere. This is the new fragrance from Tom Ford. Now, luckily, I was able to get a sample of this, and you know what? It's not all that great. I don't love it. I think it smells nice, but you know what? I think it smells a lot like the other couple fragrances that he has come out with the past couple years. So we've got like Oud Wood, we have Iben Fume. There's another one that I'm blanking on. I think that if you have all of those friends, you don't necessarily need Mer Mystere. This one felt a little too like heavy and incensey to me. I would say if you are kind of new to Tom Ford and you want like a really good fall and winter scent, get the ombre leather one that I recommended to you guys in my other Sephora recommendations video. Get that or maybe try Oud Wood for something a little bit woodsier or Iben Fume if you want more of like a smoky note. This one was like just fine. But let me tell you, I got a sample of another fragrance. Unfortunately, I was hooked. Let me show you which one it is. And this comes in a couple of different forms. This is YSL Libra. I know I'm like late to the train on this one because this is a very popular fragrance. I've seen the advertisements with Dua Lipa like a million times. She's like walking through the flames and I'm like, ooh, so good. But I think because it has been so commercialized, I like never really looked into it and I'm more of like a Tom Ford fan. So I don't know, a lot of times I don't go for these other designer fragrances. But let me tell you when I bought something from Nordstrom within the past couple of weeks, they sent me that huge like sack of fragrance samples that they often do if you like spend a certain amount on beauty at Nordstrom. And this fragrance, I had a little sample of it in that bag and I tried it out. Oh my goodness. It's like so, I don't wanna say strong. It's just like very intoxicating and long lasting. And right from the start, I noticed something like very unusual in this scent. I was like, what is that? 
kind of like top or middle note that almost smells a little bit like aromatic and herbal. It's lavender, lavender. And I think that they use that flower in such an interesting way in this fragrance. And then the bottom notes are very vanilla heavy. So if you don't like vanilla, don't get this fragrance. But what I liked about this is that it's so long lasting. It has such a strong sillage, which I just learned is the word for like kind of the trail that the fragrance leaves behind, kind of like that aura of scent that you have around you. I think I woke up in the morning because I put it on like my wrist the night before. I woke up in the morning. It was still there. It was the first thing that I noticed when I kind of just like moved my arms in front of my face. So I'm really, really interested in getting this fragrance. I think this might be the fragrance that I get. Now, now, which version do I get? Because not only do they have like different sizes and stuff here on Sephora, they've got like a value size, they have a mini size. There's five different sizes here, but also if you go back to browse, you'll see they also have Libre Eau de Parfum Intense. They also have, what is this one? This is Le Parfum. And then they also have an eau de toilette here. And then they have this other one that comes in silver packaging, which I, I can't even tell if this is a different scent. So guys, I asked my fragrance confidant, Glam Girl Chelsea, I said, I know you like this fragrance. What is the difference between all of them? And she told me that the eau de toilette is kind of the lightest one. And then the eau de parfum is kind of the next step up in terms of intensity and has a little bit more kind of stronger floral notes. Then you get the parfum and then you get the intense. So the intense one is obviously the most intense. So if you want something that's very strong, that's going to be the way to go. She said that one smells amazing. So uh, I think I'm going to try and get, where is it? I think I'm going to get the intense one. And I think I'm going to get the smaller bottle, which is $95, which is expensive, but this is going to last me a very, very long time. So I think that is gonna be the fragrance that I get. But if you guys have any other fragrance recommendations, let me know. And I'll try and do my best to compare the Intense with the Eau de Parfum, which I think is what I got in the sample. Next, we gotta talk about La Mer because you guys know I love Creme de La Mer and that's kind of my go-to, well, my other go-to splurge other than the fragrance when it comes to the Sephora sale. But here's the thing, friends, I still have quite a bit of my other jar, maybe about half of the existing jar that I have right now that I think I got in the last sale. I only use the Creme de La Mer in the winter, so it takes me a while to go through a whole jar. By the way, if you wanna hear all my thoughts about like, creme de la mer and like the Dyson air wrap and like the LED face mask that I wear. All of that is in my other recommendations video. So go check that out. But spoiler, I love creme de la mer. And so I'm thinking about getting maybe one of these value sets that they have right here because some of them, they have other products, other la mer products that I enjoy. So this is the one that I'm thinking of getting. It's $175. And you get four products. Let's see what it says here. You get the treatment lotion, which I've tried before. It's nice. It's kind of like, I don't know. It's not a toner necessarily. It's like a uh, Asian formula lotion, something very light and watery. Then you get the eye concentrate, which I'm not a big like eye cream person. I don't actively seek them out, but the La Mer one is really good. I've gotten samples of it before. Then you get the creme de la mer, and then you also get the hydrating infused emulsion. And what's funny is I was thinking about getting this set, and then one of you in, I think it was my Passer Yas video from this week, where I go through all of the Sephora gift sets, one of you guys was telling me that the emulsion is the product that I need to try, and it happens to be in this set. So maybe I'll take your recommendation and try this one. Normally I get this one, which is the creme de la mer duet and it comes with the two and the box but i don't need that much creme de la mer i don't want it to expire so i think i'm going to be getting the set by the way friends you probably will notice i do not stock up on products that's one of my rules i don't stock up on makeup so if like i haven't finished a mascara i don't just go and buy the same mascara that's just a rule i have for myself because i don't like to accumulate things and a lot of times things kind of go bad before I can even get to them. The only thing that I really try and have kind of like a backup on is the creme de la mer because 
I'm always going to use it and it is very expensive and I don't really have another substitute for it. So you'll kind of notice that trend here in my shopping video. The next thing that I need to pick up, which maybe this is a little bit lame, is more makeup erasers. I love the makeup erasers. Actually, I've been like filming some swatches of the new Natasha Denona palette and I have two right here. I have the SpongeBob one. Sorry, they're dirty. We got Gary and we've got Mr. Krabs. Now I lost one of mine on vacation, one of my larger ones. I just need, I just need more because I'm always using them for swatches and for taking my makeup off at the end of the day. So I need to pick some up. I see here they have the original makeup eraser. These are the larger size ones. I usually like to have maybe like two or three of these. You can use them like a couple of times because they're so big. So they have those only in the pink. And then they have these little mini ones, but usually the mini ones, they're a little bit too small. I actually like the ones that are this size because it's perfect for just like a one-time use. But here's the thing, guys. Okay, the only thing that they have here is this set, and it's like this weird mushroom print. Like, do people really... Is this referencing something in pop culture? Is this like Smurfs or something? Because it just says mushroom seven day makeup eraser set. <laughs> and this just, this print looks so lame. Like mushrooms, do people really like that? I was hoping for like, I don't know, Barbie or Rugrats or even like a floral pattern, like literally anything. And I'm getting mushrooms. I don't think I could buy mushroom makeup erasers. I think I'm going to get maybe two of the larger ones just like very standard because now I only have one left of those so getting a makeup eraser highly recommend you can throw them in the wash by the way they won't mess up your clothes or anything you can wash them a million times and they just last so I was trying to think of some other products that I've kind of been wanting to try but I just held off on because I didn't have time to review them or it just didn't make sense at the time or I've just been waiting for a sale and one of the things that kind of popped into my head is are there any Dior eyeshadow palettes that I haven't tried and then I remembered I had favorited this a while ago when the eyeshadow palettes got reformulated at the beginning of the year there was this palette that hadn't I th it wasn't available at the time I can't remember it is called amber pearl and this is shades of beige a gold a taupe and an orange and this looks like such a beautiful delightful neutral palette these colors look right up my alley they look kind of like golden a little bit warm tone and I feel like a lot of my subscribers asked me to review this so I'm thinking that I'm going to be picking this one up as well i'm just trying to like zoom in on the swatches here it looks very soft like nothing to write home about but this is one that i kind of would like to have in my collection because this might be a really perfect kind of soft neutral from from dior so we'll add that to cart as well now another thing that i thought of and i have been thinking of buying this i think for the past three sephora sales and it always makes it out of my cart, okay? Let me show you what it is. It is a foundation. It is the NARS Light Reflecting Advanced Skincare Foundation. I know this is not new. This came out like a year or two ago. And so many people reference this and so many people say that this is good. And I still haven't tried it and it just seems right up my alley. I still don't know what shade I am, but I was checking this out the other day and I think I am the shade Gobi. Gobi, this is light three. It's as light with neutral undertones. I don't know. Do I look like this woman right here? I think that I can rock this because the other ones around it seem to be a little bit light. Siberia, that's the name of the lightest shade. Siberia, gosh, they're like very straightforward here. Siberia, Oslo, Mont Blanc. Like we get it, we're pale. <laughs> But I think I'm going to be Gobi. And some people have asked me before, like, what shade would I get? I think I'm going to get Gobi. And you know what? If it doesn't work out, then I can just return it or exchange it or something at Sephora. Normally, I like to do my homework and I do a better job and I try it ahead of time. But I think that's what I'm going to get. And then the other thing that I was looking at that I said, I think I said this in my pass or yes, that I was going to get this in the sale 
It is the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Hyd God, this is a long name. It's the House Labs Concealer, okay? I never tried this. I didn't watch any reviews, so I hope it's good. But this is another thing that I was thinking of getting. Oh no, some of the shades are sold out. No, I think the one that I need is sold out. Okay, hold on. Let's check the shade chart. Let's not freak out. What shade do I need? So the one that is sold out is probably the one that I would get, but I might be able to make the lightest shade work. Also, the second shade might work. So maybe for now, I will add just that one to my cart, shade number two, and then I will check during the sale to see if the other one comes back in stock. <sighs> okay, we need we needed more coffee. We needed more coffee. Okay, now let's talk about like some gift sets that I'm thinking of getting, mostly for other people, mostly for other people. So the one that I told you that I thought was really, really good in my Passer Yes Sephora gift sets video is this one. This is the Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez Mini Blush and Glow 4P set. I have one of these shades, it's called Virtue. And then the other shade that comes in here, Wisdom. Wisdom, which is a mauve plum. And then we have Virtue, which is a beige, beige peach. And then we have the Mini Positive Light Liquid Luminizer in Magnetize, a light gold, and Transcend, a rose gold. I don't think that I need this. I really don't. I'm thinking about maybe getting a full size one from Rare Beauty. We'll see. Let's look at that next. Let's look at that next. But I do think I'm going to add at least one of these to cart because I'm thinking of giving this to maybe one of my cousins or maybe like my sister or I'm not quite sure yet. I have to make a list and figure it out. But I want to give this to somebody because this is a really nice gift. And you know what? Let's actually go to the Rare Beauty page, because I'm thinking of getting another blush here. Which one do I need? Now there's a mini size of the shade Hope, and that is a really nice neutral. That looks beautiful. So I'm gonna add that to my basket as an option. I already have the red, I already have Lucky, the hot pink. Ooh, Joy, a dewy muted peach. That looks nice. Happy, a dewy, cool pink. Encourage, soft, neutral pink. You know I'm not getting that one. Hope we talked about. Believe is a mauve. I don't like mauve all that much. Worth I already own. Man, I have more of these than I thought I did. Okay, the matte ones. I have love. Grace is a rose mauve. Faith is a deep matte berry. Ooh, I don't think I have this one. <gasps> You know, I like berry blushes. Okay, I'm gonna add this one to cart. All of this will be pruned down, by the way. I will I will have a stage of reckoning, a moment of reckoning, and I will remove some of these from my cart. So don't worry, I'm not gonna go ham. But I do like to, you know, have these kinds of popular products because it's helpful for me when I do my reviews. So I'm kind of leaning towards those few shades just based off of the season and everything. Let's go back to the gift sets because there are some here that I was also taking a look at for my family members. All right, here we go. I ended up searching for it. I really like the Charlotte Tilbury gift sets. So the ones that I particularly like are the Pillow Talk on the go set. Oh wait, there's a couple here that I didn't see. We're gonna we're gonna look at the pillow talk on the go set. This is $54, so it gets kind of expensive for like a set full of minis, but I think with the 20% off, like I'm fine with that price point. So I'm gonna add that to basket because my cousin and her daughter really like Charlotte Tilbury. So I might need to figure out what products they already have. Like maybe ask them like at Thanksgiving, like what Charlotte Tilbury do you like? And then get them something that they don't already have or maybe like come up with a gift for them. Where's the big one? Like where's the big kahuna? Ooh, iconic mini lip trio. That's cute. Why it has one star, I do not know. All right, all right, all right. Here's the Pillow Talk Dreams Come True set. This is $400, but I'm wondering if I can buy this and like share the wealth and gift all of the women in my family a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury. So I don't know guys yet, but I'm gonna add that to basket and we shall 
We shall see, we shall see. I think I'm gonna get out of this section of Charlotte Tilbury because this is dangerous right now. Maybe I'll go back to Dior, not that that's any less dangerous. Ah, oh, they have the Backstage Glow Palette finally back in stock. Mine is falling apart. Like I'm almost tempted to replace it. Ugh, I've used it so much. It's so, so good. Let's see what else they have here. If there's anything else I've been meaning to get. I recently went back to the Dior Forever Skin Correct Full Coverage Concealer. Oh my goodness, guys. It's so good. Even the reformulated version. I do not notice the difference. I still think it is absolutely fantastic. It's so, so good. I can't believe I like never had it in my life at one point. Let's take a look at the new section here on the app. What do we have here? We've got Kayali Oudgasm Vanilla Oud 36 Eau de Parfum. Now, is this good? Are the Kayali fragrances good? I really need to know. I'm not trying to be snarky or anything. I honestly just have not smelled them. Which ones do you guys like? Because what usually shocks me is the price of these perfumes. $140. Like that is a lot more than the YSL one that I just added to cart. So I'm so intrigued. Like, are they very good quality? Are they very long lasting? I don't mind spending $140 on a fragrance if I really like it, but I'm always super curious if those are good. Then we've got the Anastasio Beverly Hills Mini Sultry Eyeshadow Palette. You all already know my opinion on that. Like, I would rather just have the full size palette, to be honest with you. So forget that. We have a lot of gift sets here in the new section, which I'm just going to kind of pass on by. Ooh, the Natasha Denona Xenon palette. I actually have that palette right here. It just came and I was just filming some swatches so I can do hopefully a look a little bit later today. I don't have any makeup on right now. I'm just kind of like getting ready for the day and whatnot, guys. I do have to work today. So if I can get a little bit of a break, I will film a look with that and a review is coming. But at first glance, I'm way more excited for this palette than I was when I just saw the image like right here it's like okay it looks fine like who asked for this but when i actually swatch it and like play around with it it just looks so so magnificent if you like a good frosty eye look maybe consider watching some reviews look out for my review so here's something that popped up in one of the categories i was looking at the other day check out this joe malone candle i never treat myself to these things this is the joe malone london ginger biscuit candle. I did get the the little diptyque set last year in like a Black Friday sale or whatever, like the little little mini ones and I really love those, but I'm so fond of these like big Jo Malone candles. This is Ginger Biscuit. I love the color of it. I love the bow on top. I don't know if I'm ready yet to spend $82 on like such a big candle like that, but this is another one that I had favorited previously. And then lastly, friends, let's check out the Rewards Bazaar, shall we? Let me actually, real quick, before we do that, I wanted to show you on the app because some of you guys were saying you didn't know about this in my pass or yes video. If you go to the bottom of the Sephora app, or it's even on the Sephora website as well, it's just like in a different tab in the main site navigation. If you go to the offers tab, it'll say beauty offers and then you basically get all of these little things that you can add to your cart now some of these you might not be able to add during the sale because you have to use the little promo code but i just want to bring this up for other times or maybe right after the sale has ended you can add tons of like little freebies and stuff if you just go to the offers tab you click the button and it automatically applies it in cart but right now because it is during the sale we're gonna go to the shop tab and then you can also access offers from there or you can click on rewards bazaar. So let's see what they have right here. Sometimes it's super lame during the sale. We've got Makeup Forever Primer Hydra Booster. We've got like the teeniest little brow pencil sample ever. We've got, ooh, an Urban Decay eyeliner. I know we all have black eyeliners, but that one is actually really good. We have a J.Lo Brightening and Firming Serum with Niacinamide. J.Lo Beauty sent me some of their like body creams. They were very nice. Not anything to like write home about, but like they were very nice. What am I gonna say? 
Ooh, Cali Ray Mini Mascara. This is what I would get. If I didn't already have one, <laughs> this is what I would get. Rec Beauty Cactus Water Cleansing Lactic Acid Toner. See, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Once again, I know I keep referencing the gift sets video that I did. We had a lot of fun in that video, did we not? We had a good laugh. This product is in one of the Sephora gift sets. I don't, I can't remember if we talked about this specific one, but this is in the gift set. See, you can get this for free with your points. You don't even need to buy the gift set. So it's like, kind of check this section. So I'm looking at this section to be like, ooh, what else can I get? Because maybe that will last me a really long time and I don't need to actually pick up the product. We also have a milk makeup mascara. We have a Tula face cleanser. Ooh, you get like a little um, self-care must have, which is this little headband. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. I have two of these from another brand and I like to wear them, but this would actually make a good gift. So if you're putting together like a skincare gift for somebody, check that out because you could add that as like a part of a gift. There's also the Pharmacy Honey Halo Moisturizer. That's really good. What else do we have here? Augustinus Batter Moisturizer. There's a Lancome one. Ooh, First Aid Beauty. I really like First Aid Beauty and I usually get, like if I'm choosing between these little freebies, I really like to choose the First Aid Beauty ones. And I actually have this one. There is an anti-chafe stick, which is really good if you get maybe like blisters and stuff on your feet. And then one of my favorite products ever, like skincare product from Sephora, is the KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub. I use this on my keratosis pilaris, but you can also just use it as a general body scrub, like on your legs. If your legs get kind of like scaly or ashy or chalky and dry, you can use it in like any areas where you get like ingrown hairs and it really helps with that too. So I also recommend checking out that little perk that they have here. Ooh, ooh, okay, so they've got the makeup brush holders for 500 points. I have like six or seven of these. These are so good. If you're someone where like you just don't want to bother with like the little mini makeup samples and stuff and you want something more substantial that's actually going to last you, get these little brush holders. You could put anything in this. You could put like eyeliners, you could put lip liners. You could even use it as a planter if you want to put like a little succulent in it. So I have a bunch of these. They're 500 points. So if you've racked up your points, you know, maybe you can place multiple orders and you can get multiple brush holders, which I have done. There's also another First Aid Beauty perk in here. I've gotten this, I think I've gotten this twice and I've given one to my sister. There's these really cute little hair clips. They actually have a lot in stock. I'm very, very impressed. Oh, and the Bumble and Bumble one, this one is also really good. The Hairdresser's Invisible Oil, that is probably my favorite hair product from Sephora. I use it on my hair as kind of like a leave-in conditioner. So that's really nice. And then finally, it looks like we've got Clarins, Kerastase, Sunday Riley. These are all sold out. Why are all the best ones always sold out? It could be that these actually aren't sold out, guys, and they're going to be available like the first day of the sale. So I would, oh, look at this Givenchy one. You get a powder, a concealer, you get brushes. Where were these when I had points? There are literally so many good things in here. Dr. Dennis Gross. Okay, guys, build your car and then like the second it strikes midnight, it might be midnight like Pacific time, but whatever. Keep a lookout for when the sale starts. I'll be posting it out on my Instagram. Make sure you follow me over there. Make sure you have your basket ready because my guess is that a lot of these things are probably gonna go live the second that the sale starts. All right, friends, I think that is enough shopping for today. I hope that you enjoyed this little shop with me vlog. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel because I will be posting a Sephora sale haul within the next week or so, basically whenever I get my order. Just as a reminder, I'll have all these products linked in the description box down below, along with my affiliate link if you wanna support my channel during this sale. You don't have to, but I will include it there. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. I would very much appreciate that. And if you are new here, consider subscribing to my channel. And with that, friends, I hope that you see some beauty in your day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.